Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Ben. What's up, Ben? I am Groot. Yeah. All right, so we got some stuff to talk about. Uh, you wanted to talk about what? Uh, turns out Hulu is doing the Animaniacs reboot. It's going to be two seasons. And they also have the rights to air the original Animaniacs, Pinky and the Brain, and Tiny Toon Adventures. Now, any original voices returning? We don't know yet, but if they're smart, and I think they are, they're going to bring back Rob Paulson, who was Yakko, Jess Harnell, who was Wacko, Tress McNeil, who was Dot, and Maurice LaMarche, who was The Brain. Because they'd be stupid to recast all the voices. Yes. Nobody okay. will watch it if it's new That's voices. great news. I love Animaniacs, man. That was with, awesome. And with all the Trump stuff going on, they, they got some prime material to, besides all the Hollywood stuff they used to make fun of Yeah. in the show. We also got word that HBO has confirmed in an announcement that the eighth and final season of Game of Thrones will not air until 2019. Uh, so we are going to have it at some point in time. Filming had begun this October, and it continues to August uh, this year for a 2019 release date, the final season of Game of Thrones. Um, so I'm excited about that. Also, Scott's uh, fa new favorite show, The Gifted, got extended for a second season, got picked up, so he's happy. I still haven't seen season one, so there's that. Yep. Um, what else did you have, Ben? Well, for the face palmy, for face palmy pathetic news, Snyder fans are planning a peaceful protest right outside of Warner Brothers headquarters in Burbank, California. The event is called the hashtag release the Snyder Cut. Hello? There is no fucking Snyder Cut, you morons. There's no Snyder Cut. If there was a Snyder Cut, you wouldn't need to get another director in there to film and continue the movie. Common exactly. sense. Common sense. Yeah. Some of these people on Twitter just make my eyes roll back in the back of my skull. Twitter, some of them on Reddit make my eyes go crazy. Um... All right, so uh, we also got word the Halloween sequel has confirmed uh, a start of filming in mid-January. Said casting call, they seek extras on both genders. Um, also, there's another report like, that Mulan... Uh, to get killed. Yeah, no. Another report that Mulan is going to be filming this month as well, the live action. Uh, so there's that. Uh, again, you know, I don't know how the hell Halloween thing is going to oh, be. Yeah. I'm not crazy about it at all. Yeah. So, well, and the, we, we got DC Films gets a new commander-in-chief. Yep. yep. What uh, do you think about that? If it doesn't fix the movies, who cares? So, let's see. The uh, Who's the person that's taking charge here? Uh, Hama Hamada. Walter Hamada. Okay. Help Shepard it through New Line, help establish Warner's success for the Conjuring universe. Ah. And he's a close confidant of Aquaman director James Wan. Oh, okay. So they're getting will, what works. And, and he will continue to work alongside Jeff Jones. Interesting. So they're going to try to reshape the DC EU, huh? Here's an easy reason. Pull a Feige, let the directors make their movies and stop interfering with the sh everything basically so we got um we we're just talking about that off the air we got um what's his name here we have rosario dawson's claire temple is coming back for daredevil season three and then i guess the other seasons of an iron fist luke, season two iron fist luke cage jessica jones she's in everything Basically. No, no problem there. That's right. Um, Make Iron Fist not suck in season two. I know. Give him a... Basically. All right. So we got some snippets there. Let's just see if we have any box office numbers. It might be too early. It might not. The numbers... Oh, it's not too early. Jumanji's still number one for three days in a row. Um, $359 million worldwide. Last Jedi is at one billion one hundred eight million. Wow! Greatest Showman. The money is strong with that one. 
Yeah, Grace Showman, 104 million, a success finally for you, Jackman. Yes. Um, oh, pitch- I also read some. Oh, that's pretty after the box office. Yeah. I read that Logan got like a WGA nomination for the. Let me see what it was. Oh, Logan secures WGA nomination as a best adapted screenplay Oscar nomination around the corner. Hmm. Okay. I'd like to see Logan win an award because it's a superhero movie, but it's also not a superhero movie. I know. I want him to win an award too. That'd be great. Uh, Pitch Perfect 3 is at 104. Justice League is ending, and it right now stands at 652, yep. which has been staying like that for a long damn time now, so it's not going anywhere. It's going to get just about done. And Thor Ragnarok is, is 849. Hopefully, it can just get to 850, and then boom, we're done. So yeah. I'm hoping. So we and got that. Yeah. It looks like Marvel announces that the Black Panther, the album, will be produced by Kendrick Lamar and Top Dog. Hmm. I don't know if it's going to be a rap album or not. I don't know, but we'll find out. We will. All right. So that's been our quick everything show. We're out of here. Take care. Bye for now.